In my Shatter Me era, we love to fucking see it. This is a non-spoiler reading vlog, but I am going to be showing you out of context quotes and like random thoughts that pop into my head. So if you don't like that, maybe skip this, but I'm not going to be spoiling anything specific. Proceed with caution. Hello, shiny bays. Hello, besties. I am doing a reading vlog. It's about damn time, is it not? I'm going to be reading Shatter Me, finally. I have been meaning to read this my whole life, practically. I'm going to be reading the first book only in this one, and then I'll probably do a vlog for every single one of the books in this series if you enjoy it. And if you want me to do any other reading vlogs for any other series, let me know. I figured the format of doing one book at a time is much easier for me than doing all of the books in one video because then it takes forever to post. I decided to do a non-spoiler vlog for this one just in case you guys have not read this even though most people have So the whole video will be non-spoiler, but then at the end I'm gonna give spoiler thoughts But I'll let you know when that comes so that if you haven't read it You can just skip that part. I don't know what to expect because I know nothing about this series I read one chapter a long time ago and then I don't know why I put it down and I never got back to it. So <laughs> Here we go round two have a lot of regrets about that. This is me trying I'm on chapter three and although obviously nothing makes sense yet since I'm only in the beginning I'm already obsessed. I already feel this book taking over my life. I'm outside now. I've moved locations I'm at a coffee shop um, There's nobody outside, but I keep looking just in case somebody comes and they see me talking to my camera and I get embarrassed I wonder who her roommate is Like I feel like that's not Aaron Aaron's the only person I ever hear about from this series Aaron and Juliet I feel like her roommate is not Aaron. But now that I think about it, who are the other characters in this series? I actually don't know any other names. Hello? I'm cackling at this. Um, <laughs> he's like about to shower. What do I do with my clothes? And she goes, you have to take them off. <laughs> this is a very nice chapter. So far I learned that her cellmate's name is Adam. That's it. I wonder how old they are. I actually don't know. This was in the young adult section. So I feel like they're maybe like 17 or something. How long have you been 17? A while. I'm interested. I'm invested. I'm only on book one. <gasps> How many books are there? Let me look. Oh wow, there's so many. Six. Oh my gosh, six and there's like novellas too? <gasps> wow. Boy, do I have a journey ahead of me. Oh, there's someone coming. Goodbye. I'm on chapter six and I'm stopping right here for right now. Right here. I love Juliet. I feel so bad for her and I love her deeply already and I would protect her with my life. I will say she kind of reminds me of Rogue from X-Men because Rogue also can't touch people because she absorbs their power and if she touches them for long enough, they could die. So I'm thinking that this is what's happening here. I haven't met Aaron yet, which is interesting. I thought I would meet him right away, but I haven't. Unless Aaron is Adam. Wait, what does she mean? I know him, I know him. The boy I used to know. What? What? You know that sound that's like, um, what's going on? That's me right now. <laughs> Wait, what? You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Adam, I'm, what? I'm confused. What? I feel really bamboozled. So I just met Warner and I can't say I love him yet. I can't say that because that would be a lie. Because what the fuck? I'm hoping this character arc is... Magnificent because so far he's a little piece of shit. I don't like him I would in fact venture to say that I dislike him. I don't know how I'm gonna go from disliking him to liking him But let's see. Oh, but Warner just called her pretty girl It seems I'm folding That was fast. You want me to torture people for you? <gasps> that would be wonderful <laughs> That was a great interaction. Thank you for that one. Also, how sweet is Aaron? When he says, if you stand by my side, you will be rewarded. But if you choose to disobey, well, I think you look rather lovely with all your body parts intact, don't you? He thinks she's pretty. This is shaping up to be such a great read. Oh, you're getting dark. I don't know why. So sorry. Warner says, don't struggle, love. Does he call her love? Is that a thing in this series? That is my favorite book nickname ever. Lo calls Lily love. And if Aaron calls Juliet love, I'm forced to believe he's gonna be my second favorite book boyfriend after Lauren Hale, of course. <gasps> interesting, interesting, interesting. I will continue to read and report back. Okay, I'm stopping on chapter 11 tonight because I'm gonna go watch How I Met Your Mother. I'm rewatching for the thousandth time. But anyway, look at my Lilo bookmark. Is it not the cutest thing you've ever seen? So I'm this far in, y'all. And I will say, I'm loving it. Everybody says that the first book is bad and they don't like it, but I'm loving it. However, though, I am also a person that loved Addicted to You and Ricochet, and most people did not. I think I just love first books and series.
it just gets me going. I don't know, so far I'm very intrigued. I don't think it's boring at all. So I'm low key a little bored. I'm not bored anymore. You're not hungry? And then she thinks I could eat every person in this room. <laughs> She said Klaus Michelson. The thing about Adam is that he annoys me. Are you good? Are you bad? Why are you trying to bamboozle me? Tell me the truth. One thing about Juliet is she's gonna remind me every damn page that she cannot touch anyone. <laughs> Help, why is Warner shooting random things? It just shot meat on a table. Like the animal's already dead, Warner, what are you doing? He's like, be scared of me. I just shot at a ham that we were all eating. <laughs> No, because Warner sucks. The way he's literally smiling at her wanting to know his name. <laughs> I'm so giddy. You and I, Juliet, together we could be unstoppable. You know when you just want to kick your feet up and scream like this? That's me right now. You don't want to hurt me. I'm utterly flattered. <laughs> Juliet just compared herself to a Venus flytrap. That's how things are going thus far. Oh, he's carrying her. <laughs> Granted, he did set up the trap for her to do that, and that's why she even fainted in the first place. But he's carrying her. If toxic, why hot? Go to hell. I'm working on it. <laughs> it's giving Clariline, and I'm obsessed. Wait a damn minute. Help. What is happening? Okay, Adam. Okay. It takes five years to walk to the elevator, 15 more to ride it up. I'm a million years old by the time I walk into my room. Juliet is so dramatic. She's just like me for real. <laughs> Who's Kenji? Who's Kenji? Literally, why are they introducing new characters? I barely know the ones that are already here. When he literally asks Juliet how she is and she melts into a puddle. Her standards are just like mine. Underground. Warner is giving Anakin Skywalker and I'm here for it because I'm obsessed with Anakin Skywalker. So what does that say about me? I don't know. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna literally cry. When he has over 50 guns pointed at him, and the only thing he says is, if any of you hurt her, I'll shoot you myself. Some random person keeps talking in my headphones, you guys, and I really don't understand like what's going on. I think my headphones are picking up on someone else's house. T, what's going on out there? Like I don't care about what's going on. Anyway, as I was saying, Aaron, I love you already, and I don't know how we got here. I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. Why am I crying? I fear he's gonna be right up there with Lauren Hale. <gasps> I think I'm stopping here for right now because I want to go watch The Flash. <laughs> I'm very tired. It is 11 p.m. but I'm gonna finish. I should try to do one of those 24-hour challenges. God, I'm so annoying. Shut up. What do you mean I love you? When did that happen? Warner versus Kent. Oh, I could love you, Juliet. I would treat you like a queen. Oh, <laughs> shot to the heart. I would kill for pleasure. <laughs> 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 what? I'm gonna make some tea. I don't think I could ever do that 24 hour thing. I was born to be a grandma. Back at it again. Awake and ready I am. And I have my tea. So. Kill her right now. <laughs> you won't. Why do I feel bad for Warner? Like I don't want Julia to do this. And Adam is so weird. I don't trust Adam. He touched her leg. He touched her leg and nothing happened. I'm obsessed. Things are getting so bad. Adam's saying all the right things. Aaron is doing all the wrong things, but he seems like he's doing it for a good reason. I don't know. I just don't know. The murderer or the guy who was trying to save her. Such a tough choice. I reached chapter 33 and here's the thing. Adam is so cute. I don't trust Adam. He's giving a little bit of Joe Goldberg vibes, but like, he's also giving cute. <laughs> no, y'all, because Kenji is so funny. <laughs> he's like, oh, you trust me? <laughs> then he's like, you can leave me. And when they're like, no, he's like, oh, that's sweet, bro, but it's okay. <laughs> it's about time. Oh my God, chills, literal chills. Chapter 39 just destroyed me. I'm alive, but I'm dead. No, because I'm giggling at them having this entire plan and then Juliet's like, I can't drive. <laughs> Kenji, <laughs> he goes, hey, so I'm just gonna pretend like I can't hear you guys anymore, okay? Go ahead and have your moment. Oh, wow. Omega point. You look like a superhero. <sighs> I'm emotion. So many emotion. Oh my, wait, 
Hello? It's over. I finished. I am officially finished with the first Shatter Me book, so here I am to discuss my thoughts. This part is gonna have spoilers in it, so if you do not want to know anything, if you haven't read the book, skip this part because I'm going to be discussing spoilers. Final warning. Are you gone? I hope so. Overall, I'm rating it 4.5. It's just not a five star because the beginning of the book is really, really boring in the sense of they just have to explain a lot because obviously it's a fantasy book and there are a lot of books. So they have to give us background. They have to story build, world build and all of that, which is completely understandable. I haven't read a fantasy in so, so long. So this was my first one and I'm very excited that it wasn't hard to get through. Like if you're looking for a fantasy that will get you right back into that mood. I feel like this book is a really good one for that. I feel like the rest of the books are definitely gonna be five stars for me because I'm already obsessed. It's just a 4.5 because like I said, a lot of world building, a little bit slow, but that makes sense. Juliet, I'm obsessed with her. She's literally an icon living. I love her. She's probably gonna be one of my favorite main characters. I just feel it in my bones. I love strong women. I love seeing strong women in books. So Juliet, she's gonna be for me. Now, Adam. I don't know how I feel about him yet because he's very cute. He does give very cute vibes. He's saying all the right things, but I feel like there has to be something wrong there because it's all too perfect and I'm a little bit wary of it all, but he also could just be a nice guy. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't want to form my opinions on him quite yet because I haven't seen enough, but he kind of seemed a little bit stalkerish and like weird the way he was just like immediately all in, immediately I love you. It was just too quick and too perfect, like I said. But he is very cute and I'm glad that he's helping her and I'm glad she has him, but we'll see. Kenji, he's already my favorite. He's already an icon. I love him. He literally showed up like in the middle of the book and I'm already obsessed with him. I hope that the other books have more of him because he's definitely my favorite thus far. He's hilarious, he's sarcastic. He's that side character that's supposed to be a side character, but they make the entire book. You know the ones I'm talking about. Circa, Seth Cohen, and Style Stalinsky kind of vibes. If you guys have seen Teen Wolf and the OC, they're supposed to be side characters, right? But they run that shit. They made you the head of the show, we get it, but are you really the show? I loved seeing that he also has powers too because it makes Juliet not be so alone. So like Juliet can't touch people and Kenji can turn invisible. I really like that. I hope they become like a powerful duo fighting crime left and right, you know? I'm in my fantasy era right now because not only am I reading Shatter Me, but I'm also watching um, The Flash. I watched Flash so long ago and I don't remember anything Thing. So I'm re-watching that. I'm gonna re-watch Arrow next because that is one of my favorite shows of all time And that's just the era that I'm in. So Shatter Me is perfect for this. <laughs> now, Warner. I like him, but I also don't. That's my vibes right now. Some scenes I was like, oh, he is so hot. What the fuck? And the fact that he like seems like he knows her so well and he loves her so much. I, I feel it. Like I believe him. But at the same time, I feel like He's evil right now. I like him though, I will say. He's making the book so much fun. Like whenever Adam's in the scenes, I'm like, oh, whatever. But then when Warner's in the scenes, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm here, I'm giddy, you know? He also does give me very much Anakin Skywalker vibes. Like I'm picturing Anakin Skywalker as I'm reading Aaron Warner. So I feel like that definitely is part of the reason why I love him because Anakin Skywalker is one of my favorite characters. I'm a little bit biased going into this. But other than that, I don't know anything about this book. Like I have managed to avoid every single spoiler for this series. It's insane. All I know is that people love Aaron and that Juliet can't touch people. That is literally all I knew going into this. I haven't seen quotes. I haven't seen plot points. I don't know what it's about. I don't have any spoilers. I don't know who dies, who lives. Like I don't even know what the rest of the books are about. All I know is that as a dystopian society, that's it. So it makes me really happy that I'm going into this so blindly because I can actually enjoy it and form my own opinions rather than know all these things going into it, you know? I don't know how I've managed to avoid spoilers at this point, but here we are. Go me. Also reminds me a lot of like Divergent meets Hunger Games meets Maze Runner kind of vibes and I was a whore for those. Like me and Divergent, we were like this. The books, we were like this until the last book. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. I didn't see it. It didn't happen. But the movies, that happened because Theo James, wow. What a specimen of a man. And Hunger Games. I love Hunger Games. I love PETA. I love Katniss. I, again, love the books, love the movies. Never read Maze Runner, but I do love the movie <laughs> because Dylan O'Brien. <laughs> but it gives me that energy, Shatter Me. So I think that's why I'm enjoying it so much. It's definitely nostalgic and it's definitely just like what I needed right now. So 4.5, liking it a lot. I can't wait to see what happens next because now she's in the Omega Point with all the people that have the same ability as her. Do I trust that Omega Point? I don't know. Do I trust Castle? I don't know. Do I even trust James at this point? I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing. I literally know nothing. I'm very aware of everybody. I just am scared of what's gonna happen next. The only person I know damn well I trust is Juliet. 
that's it. I'm going to be going in this order, by the way, because I want to read the novellas. So this is the order I'm going to be going at. And I am going to be vlogging the entire thing. You guys are going to go through this entire journey with me. Let me know if you're liking these. I'm going to make them all non-spoiler, but then with spoiler thoughts at the end. So let me know if you like that setup. I love you so, so much. Anyways, I hope you have such a great day.